All right. I'll wait for my three minutes. Good evening, Levi Trumbull from the city of Frederick, Maryland, 21703. So, quick backstory. About 20 minutes ago, I get a call uh, from one of my friends letting me know. He's like, are you watching the Frederick County Council meeting? Uh, no, I'm not. I usually don't. You, you suck. You're a bunch of holes. the Democrats. All right, guys, what's going on? Levi Trumbull here, and we are just going to dive in today's insane breaking news story. So as you know, I have been calling into the Frederick County Council uh, with the assistance of their uh, live caller public comment option. Basically, you can dial a telephone number. It'll place you into a live speaker's queue, and then you can speak live uh, via telephone to provide public comment if you wish to do that. I did that originally on October 1st, and then I followed up on October 8th. Well, now they've had this system in place for five years. Now, come October 22nd, because they don't like me redressing my grievances with them, they have essentially put forth a resolution to kill, to stop the live uh, public comment. Now, I just want to state for the record, half of the county council was totally uh, hip to what was going on. They knew that it was an absolute attempt to stop people from redressing their grievances, specifically me, and half of the council was totally, they, they knew that and they were opposed to um, ending that option, the ability for people to uh, call in and give live public comment via telephone. They were totally opposed, but the other half was for it. So guys, this is an, an insane situation. There are definitely winners and definitely losers uh, in this situation. We will put up uh, the winners on the screen right now, the people who were opposed uh, to seeing that happen, and then the losers, the career politicians who uh, basically make their money, have made their living being politicians, uh, who do not do not like the fact that people like me are calling in and redressing grievances against corrupt county staff. So with that, guys, you must email uh Council members at frederickcountymd.gov, redress your grievances, share the video, and let's get it out there. So, insane situation. Check it out right now. I showed up to deliver public comment on the fact that it has been proposed uh, to remove this option for people to provide public comment. It's not going to do anything even if they do pass it. The only thing it's going to do is limit senior citizens and people with disabilities from being able to call in and participate in their government. It's total nonsense and they're only doing it because of yours truly. Check out this video now. Previously on the Levi Trumbull channel. Tulsi Desai is a two-faced, lying, spineless, no integrity, hack government employee. Uh, I just want to make the, the comment. We had the caller in that was um, making comments about staff that uh, I would prefer not to hear in this forum. Unfortunately, under the Constitution, uh, public comment gives callers or speakers the right to say anything they want. In response to that call in and that public comment, uh, Mr. Council President Brad W. Young called my speech, my dialogue, unfortunate. I think it's unfortunate that in 2002, the Frederick City Mayor fired Gary Hessong from city permitting, and then Frederick County turned around and hired him for county permitting. I think it's unfortunate that Gary Hessong showed his appreciation to Frederick County hiring him by vandalizing his co-worker's vehicle and getting charged with malicious destruction of private property. Recently, we've had a caller uh, disparaging county employees who are not here to defend themselves. It's unacceptable, and I think it's time to end the call-in option. To get rid of, you know, <laughs> hearing from the public, um, I just, I, I won't be supporting this. Um, I'm going to agree with Council for Vice President Duckett on this. Um, I think that we are continuing our attack on public comment. We've already uh, limited and gotten rid of the recorded calls at the end of the meeting uh, just because we've recently got calls that certain people don't like. Irregardless, we are limiting the public on communicating with their elected representatives. And for me, it's just, and, and, and only because, well, I won't say only because, but because of one call that some of us did not like. And maybe we didn't like it. It wasn't that we didn't like it, but it's, it's really why we got here. All right. I'll wait for my three minutes. Good evening, Levi Trumbull from the city of Frederick, Maryland, 21703. So quick backstory. About 20 minutes ago, I get a call uh, from one of my friends letting me know, he's like, are you watching the Frederick County Council meeting? Uh, no, I'm not, I usually don't. Uh, but he's telling me that 
Now, what's trying to happen up here is we're trying to amend the situation where people can call in and be placed in a live speaker's queue and essentially call in to have their voices heard in a live fashion via cell phone. Uh, so it's bad enough you guys took off the uh, plane of the voicemails that are left to you, but now we're trying to take it one step further in freedom of speech. So let me just say this right now. Kevante Duckett, you're a man of character. I appreciate what you, I, I didn't catch everything that was said. I called in, I mean, I, I, I turned it on like 30 minutes late, didn't see everything, but I heard what you said, man of character. Mason, Steve, you guys as well. I didn't hear everything that was set up here. I don't know who brought this, but this is not okay. That should not happen whatsoever. More backstory. This comes two weeks, or no, no. I called in two weeks ago to redress some grievances with some of your county staff, as the council president uh, likes to put it. And now what, we're talking about killing that whole situation? Timing of that seems a little suspicious. I'll have to go back later tonight. I'll have to watch what I missed the first 30 minutes that I didn't see, but I had to get in my car, thank God I'm close, and drive down here uh, from Monarch Ridge to be able to oppose that if that's in fact the direction that we're trying to head here. It's not a good thing. And if you guys do in fact do it, it doesn't matter um, because we're all local here. I wasn't some guy on Pluto calling in. I'm a local and I can do it via phone or I can do it right here uh, at this podium. Another thing that I want to mention is I heard something of things about technical issues or costs or whatever you might have it. That system works fine. There's no problem with your system. You call in, you press two for more options, and then you can hear you guys talking while you wait in the live queue. And then when it's your time to speak, it puts you through. Very simple. And I can't imagine that that costs Frederick County that much money. All right, so it's a fine system. And for a young guy like me, it doesn't matter. I can come here, it doesn't matter. But if you're older, you know, if you have disabilities, whatever you might have it, I think that's a very convenient thing. I hear it was introduced during COVID. Fine, uh, but I think you guys should keep that. And whatever you guys do, it doesn't matter because people like myself can call in via phone or we can come in and speak directly at this podium. It doesn't matter either way. <laughs> Three, two, one. That's my time. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. I am calling in in support of Levi Trumbull. You had criticized the content of his free have. speech. That's wrong. You have got to allow people to say whatever they want for their three minutes of comment time. Otherwise, the open meetings complaint board will get a complaint against them, just like several other entities have got this month from me directly. I will be coming in next Tuesday to speak to all of you guys, but the citizens have the right to complain about their elected officials and government employees. You said that his free speech was unfortunate the last time he called in. That's not right. It's not for you to decide. It's for the citizens to decide, and we do so at the ballot box every election, just like we're going to be doing coming up here in November. Uh, but again, we the people have the right to be heard and the right to speak. The call-in line works fine. We should keep the call-in line, but you need to also respect people's First Amendment rights. They can say whatever they want. They can say <laughs> you, you suck, you're a bunch of holes, the Democrats, Larry Hogan. You can say whatever you want, but the fact that you are criticizing the fact that a citizen was unhappy with his government and he was telling you about it, is wrong and it should be cause for people not to vote for you so just because you have a magnificent haircut brad does not give you the right to control what the citizens say during their three minute public comment it's the only time we get a chance to talk besides uh when we go to the ballot box and talk through our votes so having said that, I will see you guys next Tuesday, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually give you a first-hand lesson in how far the First Amendment goes to protect my free mother speech. Have a great day, guys. Thank you, Mr. Porter.